How you go, guys? This is it. This is the women's physique. Now, I couldn't take their 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 uh, their beginning because they have the music on, and Facebook won't allow us to have it if there's music in the background. So hopefully, we're gonna be safe, even though there's music. Okay, check it out, folks. This is what you've been waiting on. This is the women's physique. is we've just um, had a talk with Maria and we understand that like she is the person who controls you right <laughs> okay so uh, 
Pardon? We have no controlling yet. No controlling yet. Okay. Marie, you want to stand over here? Let's go over here and talk. So um, here's the thing. There's, there's like, okay, folks, we've seen a lot of machismo today, but we haven't had that other factor. That other factor means the other side of the gene pool, which is the female gene pool, okay? And so what we want to do is I just want to find out from you guys, and just it's just really straightforward, no formalities at all. Chime in. Um, Marie was mentioning that there's not a lot of women who are competing in the physique challenges. Why is that? Based on, because she mentioned that it's, there's these misconceptions. So can you guys share with us why you decided to get involved in the physique competition? Because obviously those misconceptions didn't even touch home with you, right? So why is it? Just go ahead and ring in. So for me, what, what is your name, first of all? My name is Anastasia. Anastasia, go for it. Yes, uh, for me, all my life, I've been uh, overweight, not fat, but uh, quite uh, plump, and I was teased a lot by the kids when I was a child. And then when I came to Singapore, I decided well, it's time to start to train. So I was training for maybe about three years. And then I decided, like, uh, why not compete? So that's the story. So it was all about losing weight in the beginning, but then it became my lifestyle is something that I really cannot imagine my life without and uh, competition is just like a next level for my favorite hobby. That's it. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you what, guys, what we're going to do is they've got to go back on stage right now. So can we pick this up after you guys come back, after you sure. win all that gold? <laughs> okay, can we do that? Is that okay? Great. Anastasia, thank you so much, okay? Yeah, we'll pick it up welcome. in just a moment. Let's go back out and check it out, all right? In the meantime, we're going to steal Maria for a little bit. <laughs> Maria, do you have to go out as well? No, I don't. Oh, she doesn't have to go out, so we can keep her here all night long. Oh, no. Okay. Good luck, ladies. Okay, so Maria, yes. I noticed just now that you had some contestants. Even though they're, they're here in Singapore, Anastasia sounded like she was not Singaporean. Yeah. And she didn't look like she was Singaporean. Yeah. Okay, so how does that work? Does, is, is this an amateur level where any of the women can yes. join? Yes. Ah, okay. So what's the difference between... So if she were to go to Korea, do they have people going to Korea from the women's physique? So if they are representing Singapore, they either have to be Singaporean or have a PR. So what does that do for a person like Anastasia or someone else who wants to get involved in women's physique competitions locally? So we would have to see how long she's been here. We would have to see um, our ties with her country mm -hmm. to see if everything works out. Mm -hmm. And I think we kind of move from there. Honestly, the bottom line is actually to promote the sport. To promote the yeah. sport. Okay, so now you were mentioning earlier about misconceptions. Yeah. You were saying that women are not designed genetically in terms of getting huge and yeah. all these. Can you, can you let individuals out there know a little bit more about those misconceptions and how that just won't work from a, from a testosterone level or genetic level? So the way they, the, where they don't have to worry that if they get into a gym or if they start training hard, they're not going to get big. Yeah, well, females don't have the genes in them. Um, if honest, Honestly speaking, if you want to get bigger, if females do want to get a lot bigger, they have to take external things. Right? So the heavier you carry, literally the smaller you become. Because your muscles become more compound, you become tighter, you become leaner. In fact, the better you look. So. Okay, now that's great. Now. You're checking their face, right? <laughs> now, Maria, she has to make sure we're going live. Okay, now, this was very interesting, folks, about what Maria said. Did you hear it? If you didn't, I'm going to repeat it for you. <laughs> she said, the heavier you go, the smaller you get. That is a misconception right away. Because I know a lot of you out there are thinking, if I lift heavier, if I lift more, then I'm going to get bigger. That's not going to happen, right, Maria? Now, what else actually decreases as a person becomes fitter? It's like the fat levels, right? Yeah. Okay. So now in terms of what people eat, especially women, because we know what the guys do, right? The guys just eat anything under the sun and they just get ripped, okay? But women, because women are going through, if they have a family, if they have children, they have these, uh, the, these extra challenges. Yeah. What advice would you have to women who are looking to become not necessarily an athlete, but just want just want to look good. Yeah. yeah. What would you suggest? Honestly, I would suggest doing something that you can sustain. There's no point in starting something that, that's not feasible. Like we're Asians, we can't remove rice completely. So when you completely remove it from your diet, the chances of you eating it again two months or three months later is there. So it's not gonna become sustainable. So I would honestly suggest do plan out your meal, 
plan it in advance so that when you're hungry, you always have something to eat. Keep a little bit of everything. Keep a little bit of fat, keep a little bit of carbs, keep a little bit of protein. Make sure everything is... Don't take something out completely. If you just want to be healthy and you're not looking at 5% body fat, then I think that's good enough. Okay, now Maria, another question. What is the first thing that women who are looking to become healthier and trimmer should do if they have a family, for example? Yeah. If they have other responsibilities that take them away from a gym or um, don't allow them to prepare foods for themselves, what would you suggest? What would be the first step that they should take in order to start that healthy journey? Well, I think timing is an issue for a lot of people, but... Timing, what do you yeah. mean by that? Like Everyone's busy. Everyone has things to do with your kids, your work, you have... You have to show for them around. There's literally almost no time to do anything. So what, what what can they do? What, what what is it? I mean, do they have to go to a gym? No, you don't have to. So you can do it at home. You can do body weight exercises. You can you can mix it up with some cardio. I, I don't think it's necessary to go to a gym. To a gym. Excellent. Yeah. Now, in terms of mindset, yeah. how does this help women? In, in terms of their stress levels, in terms of their empowerment levels, when they start getting involved in fitness? What are some of the advantages? Personally, mm. I, I think you feel amazing after a workout. Who doesn't like to sweat it out? Really? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but um, you, when you work out, you actually, you, you, you kind of focus on one thing. So the after effect of it is amazing because you, you, you put everything, all your anger, all your stress, everything in that workout and when you're done you feel like your mind just completely empty so there's really no reason not to even if it's at home do some squats do some lunges skip do something it's still a step you don't have to jump into running to the gym immediately excellent now maria are you getting ready to compete i am not <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait 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 there was that i am not which is not definitive seriously <laughs> i'm supposed to but supposed to yes why, why are you uh, supposed pretty, to pretty. My, the president. Yes. Yes. He he always pushed me to. And so what? <laughs> so so what's the hesitation? I think I always like being in the background, okay. like cheering them on. I'm a personal trainer. Okay. Oh, you're so, a personal trainer. Yeah, I'm a personal trainer. Oh, how so. wicked, folks! <laughs> Maria's a personal trainer. Okay. Problem solved right here, okay? <laughs> Maria, later on, we're going to get information about you so that I can put it up online in case people want you. Because that's, okay. that's one of the things. We don't have a lot of people who um, are personal trainers yeah. locally who are in the support structure. Yeah. You have people who are doing their own thing, And then right? they're just in, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, you're attached to all this. And, folks, when you become one of her clients, maybe you can convince her <laughs> to compete when her... <laughs> brother, right? Okay. Probably up one sort of compete. So hopefully we can get into that area there. All right. <laughs> Maria, great. So you're a personal trainer now. <clears throat> Quickly, what is the one thing that women come to you most for when you're when they say, Okay, Maria, I need your help. What is the thing that they need help with? To lose weight. To lose weight. Yeah. And what is the first thing that you tell those clients or you prescribe to those clients when they're trying to lose weight? I tell them to watch their food because you can train one hour two hours a day but that's not going to burn if you eat ten times and you eat the wrong thing so, yeah. the first thing I would change is your food Excellent. you heard it from Maria okay okay we're going to go back we're going to be talking to some of the other um, physique contestants yeah. I think some of them have come back is that correct uh, yeah, I think they haven't gone out. They, have, they haven't gone out. Yeah. Can we can we grab them yeah, really quickly? Them. Okay, we're going to grab them really quickly. We're going to give Maria a break. Maria, thank you so no much. Okay, um, hopefully you'll be hanging around and tell us when they... Oh, ladies are coming out right now. Okay, Sorry. ladies got to go and say, that's okay, that's okay. So, uh, so what we're going to do. Maria, have a seat. We're going to keep... <laughs> we're going to keep talking. Have a seat, have a seat, have a seat, okay? So we're going to... Because what we want to do is... Um, folks, this is live. This is raw. This is the way it is. I mean, we can't... You can't plan this stuff. It's not scripted. And that's the beauty of it. So if you've decided to click out of my page, then doo-doo on you, okay? I mean, this is just what happens, okay? Okay, now, Maria. Yes. Let me ask you something. When you're, when you're in a gym, okay, what are some of the things that you want to uh, encourage women to be mindful of when they're in a gym setting or if they're working out on their own. Is there any difference between guys in terms of working out? Um, not so much. Uh, females don't usually go heavy because they feel like if, if the, mis the misconception is not there, they usually don't go to like the heavyweight part of the gym because the male dominates the entire area. So they're really worried about going there. So I would just tell you to be strong. Just go, as long as you know what you're doing, make sure you're safe. 
don't, don't, don't injure yourself. I think that's the worst thing that can happen in the gym. So make sure you know what you're doing. Okay. And the way to know how to do what you're doing is to hire a professional, <laughs> like Maria. That's the whole key. No, seriously, <laughs> folks, because that's what you want to do, because otherwise people will spin their wheels all yeah. day long. And that's why people keep relapsing, and they don't get anywhere. Yeah. After about three months, they may do really well, they and then they, yeah, they yeah. plateau yeah. because they don't have some help. Yeah. Um, and so let's let's get to the, the competition, yeah. okay? Pretty, um, what you're doing here. Yeah. Fashion, trying to get over on the judges for women. What are some tips if people are getting ready to compete? How, how do they work that stuff out? Because guys, they just walk out there in thongs, right? And it's no big deal. But is there a difference in terms of how you're presenting yourself as a woman on stage? Uh, there actually is. There's actually a routine that, that they usually learn. Uh, they add in a little bit of their own style. But they have to follow like the points that we give them um, on how to present themselves. They, their attire has to be uh, competing attire. They can't just wear anything. So, so give, give us give us some some examples of what procedure they have to follow. What type of attire regulations that you guys have? Um, actually, at the moment, we're not that strict because a lot of them have competed before. We don't have that many that are that are new. So I think that's what we're trying to do. So we're trying to get like a procedure where they can just come to us and we can have one stop, which means we can have. Your bikini done with us, you can get your tan done with us. When they weigh in, we, we tell them where they need to work on, which part's not ready. So we were trying to get all of that sorted at this point. And how long does that take to take and mentor someone through the process of from step one to step ten where they're actually on stage? Honestly, depending on, on, on how much body fat they had in the first place. How much body fat yeah. they have in the first place. Yeah. Now, let the viewers know the difference between body fat and body weight. Oh, very different. Okay, very explain. Different. what Because people are really hung up with body weight, yeah. right? They yeah. look on the scale and they go, oh, God, I'm gaining weight. Can you can you go ahead and just give us the lowdown on that? In all honesty, one kilo of fat looks like this, and one kilo of muscle mass looks like this. It's a huge difference. So when you work out, you're definitely going to gain muscle mass. There's no way around it. If you put, example, Johan, him, if you put him on stage, he's huge and he's going to be over the scale, right? His, his weight's going to be over his body weight, so... I don't think you have to worry about that because it's more about the fat content in your body and the mus muscle content in your body. So in terms of that, and, and that's great because you've cleared up a lot of things, how does a person know whether or not they're actually gaining fat or gaining muscle? What's the best way to measure their success without having to step on a scale? For women especially, because I know that women are really hung up on this. I think the best way is dress size. Explain. Wear something that's ridiculously tight for you, that's something that you have never worn before. Try it on two months later and see the difference. Take photos throughout your entire program so you don't miss anything. So it is all about looking good. Just yeah. like when the guys get on stage, they have to look yeah. good, right? And so ultimately, it's not about the scale weight. Yeah, it's not. But this trips people out, right? I mean, yeah. psychologically, they think, oh my God, I gained <laughs> 2 kg, and right, and their life's over, right? And you see them hanging from the rafters. Yeah. Well, maybe not. Okay, cut, cut, edit, edit. I'm not advocating suicides or death and all that kind of stuff, but since it's my page, I can pretty much say anything I want to. Okay, sorry about that, Maria. Okay, I'm sure you don't have clients, but... She comes in one day to the, to the studio, and I, so all of her clients are hanging in nooses on. Okay, never mind. Okay, <laughs> it's late, folks. It's late. Okay, so Maria. Yes. Um, in terms of uh, competition, and are you going to be mentoring some of the people to go to Korea? And if so, how do you decide on who you're going to help get to that next level, as far as women? Um, actually, that depends on on the entire committee. So they see who has commitment. Who, who is able to, to, to push forward and they actually move from there. So then that's actually not up to me. So how yeah. fun is that? Compared to personal training on a private level where you have clients versus mentoring people who are getting ready oh, to go on stage. It's, it's amazing. Well, it's well, amazing. Explain. Come on, you come feel on. like a proud mother when they stand on stage. You feel like I, a I, I haven't trained any of the athletes yet. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't done that, but I, I've seen a lot of my colleagues do it. And, and they, they, they are so proud. No matter what place you get, they know that it's hard work. They've seen you go through everything, like the worst part of your day. And how shitty you feel when you don't have cars. I mean, everybody feels shitty without cars. But, but you feel amazing the minute they step on stage. Whether you win or not, it's a good show. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. <laughs> Anything else you want to say to the women out there in terms of just their overall lifestyle pursuit. And we're not just talking about weight training, we're not just talking about body weight exercise, we're not just talking about nutrition. 
just in terms of how they should feel about themselves, like you said, doesn't matter whether or not you win or not. What's the message that you want to give to people who are struggling with the concept, especially women, about how do I look? How am I going to be accepted? How am I going to be okay? Yeah. What would you like to tell love me? Love yourself first. Honestly, love yourself first. No matter what size, what color, what you are, just love yourself first. And everything else will fall in place. Love yourself first and everything else will fall in place. Sounds like a song. Okay. I love it. I love it. All right. So, um, do, can, should we talk? Or yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. All right. All, yours. All right, Maria. Thank you very much. I'll Thank let you, you go. So, we're going to go ahead and um, chit chat, con 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 continue on. And, Maria, you can go ahead and, and, and host this yeah. kind of a talk if you want to and guide them. Okay. You, yeah. you run. Okay. We'll talk to you there. Thank you yes. so much. I appreciate it. Okay, folks, we're back at it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Shall we? We're going to talk with some ladies here. And they're getting, they're getting ready to take some photographs right now, I think. But we'll catch them in just a moment. Hi, guys. That's okay. You, you, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, man. This is all raw and rough and ragged. Okay? Hello. Congratulations. You won. What? Well, congratulations to everyone, okay? Congratulations. My name is Bill. Can I, can I, can I chit-chat with you? We need that move. I remember, I'm just not going to say anything. Okay. okay, what we're doing is we're doing a Facebook Live here. Um, go ahead and give your name to everyone out there. And do you want, want me to hold that? I'll take that home with me. Okay, this is okay. I'll put that there. Okay, Can I put that there. So just, just hang out. Just go ahead and tell them what your name is and what happened just now. Okay, uh, my name is Las Titi. Uh, usually people call me Las in short. Okay, uh, this is my first competition in... Um, bodybuilding, bikini fitness. I've been uh, working out for six years. I've been always in fitness industry, working out six years, um, and never thought that I would want to join a competition. So one day, you know, uh, my colleague came to me and said, last, give it a try, you know, why not um, try the shot, you know, before you, maybe you want to have a second baby. So I tried a shot. Okay, um, whoa, 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 hang on, a second baby. Hopefully. Okay, now that's a, that. Now, can I just assume that you have one baby? Yes, I do. So you're looking for two. Yes. She's a mother. Okay. Okay. Now, she's a mother. All those mothers who complain. Okay. I'm. I'm gonna have. Step back a bit and just show the body of a mother. This is the body of a mother that's anticipating another two. No complaints, people. I'll get out of the picture so I don't spoil the whole thing. Okay, Lassie. Yeah. Go, okay. okay. So. You're, you're, go ahead and con, con, continue what you're saying. Okay. okay. So he, she asked me to give a shot. So I gave a shot. Um, I up there today. Um, it was pretty so nervous. It's my first time. I did not know. I forget few steps, but I cover it up. And I got the results. Excellent. The first in my first count. That is so cool. That is so cool. Okay, now, Lassie, I have to ask this because all the women are going to want to know. How do you guys choose your accessories, your shoes, your outfits. How do you make that decision? Because okay. obviously, it's, it's not like the guys. Right? The guys just, they just put on their underwear that they've been using for 500 years, and they're good to go, right? How do you guys decide? What, what, how important is that? Okay, uh, first, uh, of course, I've been advised by my coach, um, Filza. She's been, you know, um, compete for twice, once in Singapore and overseas. So she knows best. She trained me. She, she, she works me out. What's her name, though? Filza. Filza. Is she at Move as well? Yeah. Okay, folks, I gotta, I gotta put in a, a chime for Tommy at Move. Okay, Filza, um, Lassie's coach. Uh, way to go, Tommy. You got, you got some really good stuff going on here, okay? There's your promo. Boom, okay? Back to Lassie. Okay, okay, okay so, so, uh, so she. Choosing your outfits. Yeah, so first she, uh, you know, uh, coached me from scratch and then slowly up to outfit, accessories. So I, I do do my research and she. And then I, you know, I seek her advice and, you know, is this good? Then she said, no, you know, you got to go for a better one. So this is... I go with the shoes, head to toe. Makeup is from her too. <laughs> that is so to amazing. Toe. She did my hair, she do my makeup. Seriously? Yeah, she did. And she also helps you. When you say that she coaches you, because um, I've seen you in the gym, You're, she's actually coaching your poses. Right? Yes. And she's, it, does she do work with your workout as well? Yes. She does all that. All that. So from uh, train, training program, from posing, from accessories, from everything, from makeup, from head to toe, 100% scratch from her. 
Okay, guys, listen, and I'm talking to the guys out there, okay? Remember that whole adage that says that women know how to multitask better than guys? Well, this is straight up for <laughs> real right now. Think about it. Makeup, accessories, training. Guys, all you got to do is just go in there and grunt it out, put on your thongs, and, and you better be washing that stuff, by the way, okay, those thongs, right? And then you're done. But look at this. And this is one person who's multifaceted, Lassie's trainer, who does all of that. That's an incredible, an incredible ability, all right? Lassie, I know I, I can tell the guy over here is looking to, to talk with you guys and take <laughs> pictures. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you go. Thank and um, congratulations Thank again. You. It's so wonderful, Thank okay, you. to talk to you guys and to find out what it's really like for women to be involved in this, okay? Sure. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. All right. That's Lassie, folks. Let's go. Here, you can have your trophy back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so we're going to come down here, folks. Oh, can, I, can I jump in there? Yeah. Okay. What is this? Is that for me? Sure, if you want it. <laughs> what is it? First of all, okay. I have no idea. You have no idea? No. Okay, read it. What does it say? Okay, it Fire says fuel. women's formula, extreme endurance pre-workout. Oh, yeah, it does say women's formula. You see, that's how they get you, right? They think that you need to take something different than a guy, right? Mm -hmm. But we know that you don't necessarily need to take anything different than a guy. No. Why not? I mean, everybody, is, it's, it's a human body. It functions the same way. The only thing that's different, I think, is our hormones and how we work, like, in between great you know but no you know we're not going to diss it because nutribio i'm not supposed to put it on facebook but i can say nutribio as long as i don't show it okay is their sponsor and so we have to give a big shout out to them and i need to find out who you are hi yes uh, i'm nicole nicole tell the, tell the people out there in uh, facebook land tell I them your name nicole genevieve Pereira clark okay and nicole <laughs> let's find out here um why did you decide to join in a women's physique competition here in singapore um, personally, I've always been very into fitness. Um, what do you mean by you've always been into fitness? What kind of things did you do before? I have my qualifications to teach yoga, actually. Are you teaching yoga? No, but okay. I have my qualifications. Okay. And prior to actually coming into bodybuilding, um, I was doing a lot of yoga, I was doing a lot of high-intensity interval training, and... Even then, I wasn't quite achieving the body I was looking for. So when you say that, because a lot of women out there are going to want to know this, when you said that you weren't able to achieve exactly the body that you were looking for, what, what kind of a body were you after to begin with? Um, you know how you nowadays, do? right, they have Instagram, and then Instagram has um, like a lot of pictures of women who are very chiseled, very defined, and... A lot of this is actually posted on social media and we think that, like, oh, okay, they're like that 24-7. So I tried everything and it still didn't work. So when I finally went into this, this um, type of training where we actually build individual like body parts so that we can shape our body the way we want it to be because we all have a body type, right? And we can't change our body type. I'm naturally an athletic Build. So even if I wanted like the sleek yoga body, I can't have that. And I, ki I was killing myself trying to, you know, achieve that. So now that I finally accepted that this is my body type, I just wanna like work on it and make it the best possible athletic physique that I can. So is it right to say that women should probably, as you mentioned, consider their own body type instead of trying to be like somebody else? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like if you work on what you already have and enhance it further, you will you will thrive. You will thrive that way rather than just kill yourself trying to get something that is physically uh, impossible. So you mentioned about Instagram and all the other things that they're posting about these things that people think that instantaneously you can become. This, yeah. or you can become that. Yeah. And what I'm hearing is that it takes actually time to get like this. Is that what you've discovered by being involved in this? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, you know things like um, supplements and vitamins and all that, like that's why it's called supplements. It's there to supplement a good diet. It's there to supplement, um, you know, a healthy lifestyle. You don't take all these like supplements and stuff like that. And it's, it's not gonna magically make you um, have the body you want. 
you know. So you have to work for it, eat clean, and then supplement your diet so that you're not missing out, you know, any of the nutrients that you might be missing if you have such a restricted diet like the one that we have when we go for things like competitions. Okay, so can you share with us when you, because that, that's, folks, that's, that's, that's totally right on, right? <coughs> Supplements are not replacements, right? Yeah. So we're talking about real food. Can you tell me or help all of us understand the difference between what you're eating pre-contest and what you eat during contest? Okay. Well, in, in general terms, in other words, does it really vary that much? Does it have to vary that much? If you're, how does that work for you? It, honestly, right, it's based on everybody's individual body type. So, um, some people's body takes to carbohydrates better, like some, okay, let me scratch that. Some types of carbohydrates react better with some people's body and some other types of carbohydrates react better. Like for me, basmati rice is the best for me. Like I get that nice pump, you know, pre-com, but if I take things like pasta, then I bloat. So you have to work with and experiment with different, different foods and see what works best for your body yeah and not just follow everything you're talking about and i guess that's i guess that's it has a lot to say about people who say look do what i did and then you'll get the same results that i did that is not necessarily true right no. what you're saying is that people react differently yeah. they may have uh, resistance to certain types of foods yeah. and whatnot and so ultimately how does a person find out about what they need do they is it just a matter of experimentation or, or what what is that what does that what does that require how do i find out Right. If, if I'm gonna, if, if this is good for me, that's bad for me, or whatever. Okay. So there is, there is like a standard kind of template that you follow. So like, you know, based on um, the nutritional charts, right? Lots of vegetables, and then enough protein to parts. But at the same time, experiment with the different foods within the food chart to see which works best for your body. Yeah. Okay. okay, now, last thing in terms of mindset, especially women, women who are feeling like they're not empowered, women who are very, very challenged with a lot of other things that they're doing in their life, how can you advise them in order to settle their, their stress and all this? How important is that for a healthier body? You know, it is actually, it actually works hand in hand. If you exercise, you get a healthy mind. If you exercise, you get a healthy body. And with your healthy body and your healthy mind, really, I promise you that everything else will fall into place. And um, this is speaking from my own personal experiences. Wonderful. All right. Shout out. Tell them who you are again. My name is Nicole Genevieve Pereira Clark. All right. Yeah. So, folks, this is Nicole. Check it out. Find her, Facebook her, Google her, follow her trip. Instagram, yes. Instagram, Instagram. Instagram. You can Instagram. follow me on Instagram, Nicole okay. G D P C. Okay, Nicole G D P C. Okay, that's Nicole. For, oh, I need to ask: Are you going to be taking um, your competition further? Are you going to Korea? Are you doing something? What's the What's the next step for you? So that they can follow you, right? They gotta follow you yeah. on Instagram. Okay, so what are you gonna do next? You're just gonna sit down and be a, uh, be a blubber button, up, right? No, what are you gonna do? Next? I fell. I have fallen madly in love with the sport and madly in love with my own body and being able to be in power of you know how it becomes how 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 things go in my life and this is where I'm I'm gonna take this further for sure. You will see me again. <laughs> you will see me again. Excellent. Nicole, thank you very much for taking your time. Thank Congratulations. You. All right. So okay, you're very welcome. You can have your stuff back. Thank okay folks, we're gonna go I think we have one more lady over here, two more women women. We're gonna come over this way. Let's see if we can get Chit chat with them in just a moment. Isn't that so cool? So, ladies, that's what that's what this is all about. Um, and, and what I what I really love about what we're doing here is we're finding out a different sector of it. We're we're getting into that area that most people don't even touch on, and that is the female aspect of it. It's not just a male sport. Hold on, we're gonna find out. Excuse me.
<laughs> Follow me. I'm a, I'm a stalker, okay? I'm a Facebook stalker. Hi, I'm Bill Calhoun. What is your name? Natalie. Natalie. Natalie, would you mind going ahead and uh, just chit chatting a little bit? Sure, sure. Okay. Natalie, did, um, I see that you got, is that the silver? The silver, yes. Congratulations. Thank now, you. Natalie, um, are you, you're not from Singapore, right? No. Okay. Where are you from? Uh, originally from Ukraine, mm -hmm. and Sweden is my second home. Excellent. And so today, and what you've done, is this something that you've been doing for quite some time now in terms of women's physique? No, this is my first competition. Wow, that's fantastic. And what made you decide to get into um, joining a women's physique competition? And second part of that question, are you going to continue now that you've had this experience? So the first part, how did you get involved in this? Uh, I've been active in the sports for basically all my life. What type of sports? What did you do? I like all kinds of sports, but I was playing tennis, uh, general, going to the gym. Mm -hmm. I've been working out for quite some time, for quite many years. And um, the decision to participate in this competition, it's, it took me some time to grow to. Mm -hmm. I was starting to get interested, but then I didn't know whether I really wanted to do it. So what was, it, what was it that kind of like made you bump all the way over? You said you're a little bit hesitant, and so then you went over. What was it that made you? Because I love having goals, and I know that they motivate me. So I, I knew that I would work as hard as I could okay. to prepare for the competition. Great. I, Nelly, are, do you have a family? Uh, okay. Do you have children? No. no. No children yet. Okay. So, in terms of your family, because there's women out there who are in a family situation like you, who may have to juggle the challenges of training and doing so, what advice do you have for them if they want to go and take the same footsteps that you've taken in order to reach a goal? Uh, how, do they, how do they shuffle that? I think uh, if you have the passion for this, you will always find the time and the possibility to exercise. But um, I think they have to consider the partner and prepare him what it what it means for the family uh, to participate in the competition because the preparation you have to do is, can be quite tough and challenging. And Nicole, how important is support from people around you, including your loved ones, in order to do something like this? Of course, that is very important because when you are preparing for a competition, especially on the later stages, it is already tough for you as it is, all the physical uh, pressure you're putting on your body, and it just makes everything easier if you have your partner and your children, if you have kids supporting you. And so are you going to be, what, what's your next step? Are you going to go on to compete again now that you've got this goal set in your mind, right? What are you going to do next in terms of uh, physique competitions? Uh, I haven't decided that yet. I know that my next goal is to make some further improvements on my body, and then we will see. But I bet that me. silver medal pretty much helped, right? <laughs> That's good. Folks, this is Nicole. This is the winner, this is the winning body of the silver medal for today's Singapore World Bodybuilding and Physique Federation competition. Nicole, thank you so much. Thank you. So Best of luck to you in the future. Okay. Natalie, I'm sorry, Nicole, Natalie, 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 okay, I'm sorry. She's not, you see, that's the reason why raw, it sucks sometimes, okay, because I mess up, okay? It's like, Pet Bill, okay? okay. Yeah, thank you very much, Natalie. Natalie, okay, take care. Congratulations, okay? All right, folks, I think we have one more contestant, okay, in this division that we wanted to talk to. Folks, that's it. It's a wrap. Okay, and we ended it with the exact thing that we wanted to end it with, and that was the women. Isn't that fantastic? Okay, folks, so here's what I want you to do. Over the course of the next week or whatnot, go ahead and type in comments below. Um, tell us what you think about this. Uh, go ahead and type in questions, and when, what I'll do is if you have questions, now that you know the people intimately through this connection, 
What I'll do is I will funnel those questions off to the contestants, to the, uh, the president, okay, Pradiv, to Marie, all those things. I'll, I'll funnel it out to them. I'll get their answers, and we'll just keep this thing going because, you know, this is a healthier lifestyle. This is what we're after. It's not necessarily about the competition. You've been hearing over and over and over again about how important it is for the support, how important it is for people just to get the mindset of believing in themselves, okay? And so that's what we want to continue to follow, all right? So I hope you enjoyed it. For those people who are looking at this on the replay, I know there are long bits of video, but just take your time, scroll through, fast forward, because there's a lot of really interesting stuff in here. I'm Bill Calhoun, and I'm bashing all the bullshit about your brain and your body. Take care from Singapore, California. Hello, goodbye. See you later.